hey, grade sixes, I'm super excited. Look what I bought. That's right. We're ready to start reading Beatrice and Croc Harry. And I'm super excited. But before we start the first chapter, there's some important things we have to do. Did you know that you can and that you should start asking yourself questions about a book even before you read the very first word? It's true. Good readers will preview different parts of the book and ask themselves some questions before they even start. And that helps them understand the book and enjoy it even better. So what kinds of things can you do to preview a book before you start reading? Well, if it's a picture book, you can go on a picture walk and look at all the different illustrations and ask yourself questions about them. In this case, we have a chapter book that is full of words and no pictures other than the one on the cover. So what we do then is we look at the picture on the cover, we look at the back cover, and we can also look in a hardcover at the inside flaps of the dust jacket. Good readers ask questions before, during, and after reading, and there's different reasons why we do this and different ways in which it helps us. But let's focus on asking questions before reading because that's what we're doing right now. One of the reasons that we ask questions before reading is something called activating prior knowledge, and that's just kind of figuring out what do I already know that can help me with this particular book. So. Some questions that we might ask ourselves to activate prior knowledge would be, what story does the cover tell? Um, or have I read any other books that are like this or by the same author? Do I know anything about this book or the author already? And in this case, we actually all know something about this book and the author because we welcomed Lawrence Hill for a classroom visit and learned quite a bit um, to get us started on Beatrice and Croc Harry and also to spark our interest in reading it. Okay, another reason that we ask questions before we start reading is to make predictions. Now, making predictions is a really important reading comprehension strategy. So let's start out on the right foot and get a good start and ask ourselves some questions that will help us make predictions right away. Okay, some good predicting questions are, what do the pictures or illustrations on the cover tell me about the content of the book? So what can this tell me about what's in here? Also from the information on the front and back covers and inside the dust jacket, if it has one, what can I tell about the characters in this book? So those are two really good predicting questions to start off with. So now it's your turn. Go back to the language arts assignment in Google Classroom and fill in your answers to the questions there. And then tomorrow we're going to get started on reading Beatrice and Croc Harry. <laughs> 